Hello everyone, this is Natesh, and we're here with another non-series game. Now, whenever you go on YouTube, you always find just these channels that are just nothing but Minecraft. And, you know, even the channels that aren't primarily Minecraft, there's still always a Minecraft video. And, you know, I just wanted to explain why I don't do Minecraft. And, just why I'm not going to really do Minecraft stuff. And, you know, really, I'm on YouTube as an entertainer. For me, what's important is that when you watch my videos, you're entertained. And that's really kind of where a lot of this comes from. Basically, when I watch someone play Minecraft, or when I play Minecraft, because I'm not saying all this with no experience of playing the game. I've played it. And I just don't really enjoy it. I don't enjoy watching it. I don't enjoy playing it. And really the big thing that it comes down to is You know, really, before I get started with this, let me just say that I don't think it's contributed nothing. You know, I think that what it's done has been great. It's made gaming usually just something that some people were able to be a part of. It's actually made that a thing anyone can do. But what I will say about it is that it's not really that fun to me. There really kind of feels like there's no risk. One thing that people say about performing arts, theater specifically, is that the essence of drama is conflict. And with Minecraft, I could play for hours and not actually be in any danger. I could play for quite some time and just build up so much without really having any reason I have to. It's basically far too easy to find a comfort zone. And at that point, at that point, there's not much gain to be had. There's very little chance that you'll actually be killed. There's, you know, very little... There's very little that can actually really stop you at that point. Make a sword, and I can feel kind of safe in believing that I'm not actually going to have a reason to use it. I compare this to a game like Don't Starve, 
which in a lot of ways is very similar. But the big difference Don't Starve has is that there is no comfort zone. When you're playing Don't Starve, you have to keep working at it. You have to constantly be on the move as the food supply dries up. Because if you don't, you will die. I think, you know, really it's kind of a simple thing when you think about it. One of the big things that keeps there being a threat is that in Don't Starve, the fire dies. It seems like such a simple thing, but really, it makes such a difference. It makes such a difference because in Minecraft, the fire will just keep burning. You can just surround yourself with torches, and you will never have to worry about ever finding an enemy. And... You know, Don't Starve, there's a game that had stakes. If you, if you try to just build a shelter for yourself and just sit there, you will die. You can't just run home because you need to eat. You need to travel wherever the food is. And that is... Honestly, it seems like such a minor thing, but that is a huge difference between a game like that and a game like Minecraft. And really, it's the reason I like Don't Starve even more than Minecraft. But even in that case, I did Don't Starve as one of my first non-series videos, and I haven't really gone back to it. It's... It's just that... I've played one roguelike on this channel, and... I just don't really enjoy that style of game. It kind of feels like... that game doesn't really respect your time. It doesn't really respect the fact that you could have chosen to play anything, and you chose to play a game where you just don't make progress. Minecraft, Don't Starve, they're a lot like roguelikes. I don't know if there's actually a term for a roguelike like, but if there is a term for that, that's what they are. The thing that sets them apart is that, you know, there's more of a sense of progression. With Don't Star, it's practically a given that eventually that world is going to kill you. Like, the game over screen gives you credit for how long you actually manage to stay alive. But, with Minecraft, it takes away even that aspect of it. It takes away the aspect of you fighting to survive, because you just will survive. It kind of kills the tension. And, you know, when, when you're kind of going at a game from the start, knowing that you're basically guaranteed to win, it really makes it a lot harder to take the game seriously. Now, I'm sure you guys have noticed that I'm actually playing Minecraft while doing this, but, and I'm noticing that I'm kind of sinking, but, we I mean, basically, this kind of illustrates my point a little here. I'm just kind of wandering around, not actually in danger of anything. I'm gonna kill this pig, because I feel like killing a pig. But...
but frankly, I'm not sure how much else I'm going to be using this sword. hit the thing on my chair, so I started taking more, but the thing to keep in mind with that is that back then, there was even less to the game. Now, usually, at this point, you would want to hide. But I haven't really gotten any reason why I can't just kill them. the fact that the world is now full when you create it. Because, you know, isn't that part of the draw? That, you know, you were supposed to be the one who created this world. And, instead, no, this world's already kind of been created. It kind of seems like that detracts from it. sit here and I sit because I'm safe. I'm in a house where there's light. And like I said with Don't Starve, again, if you're in the light, the monsters won't get to you. But in Don't Starve, the light will go out if you if you get lazy with it. And you have to stay very close or else just die. Right now, I haven't even built anything for myself, and I can still get nice and comfortable. You know, I can actually feel justified thinking this guy, this growling thing that I'm hearing, isn't going to kill me. I'm, I don't even actually have to pay attention to it. But I also kind of realized that maybe I'm not really the target demographic. This isn't a game for hardcore RPG fans, or just like hardcore gaming fans. This is a game for people who just want something to do. This is a game that you know your computer can handle it. Whatever your actual technology is, you don't need to work. But that's really what it comes down to with this game. It's basically, if you're looking for a game that will really just make you want to spend your time on it, you're not likely to find it here. 
there's no engaging plot or anything. The style to the visuals is nice, but you get over it. And that's what the game has. And that's really all it has. And if you take that away, there's not anything left. Now, a lot of people do Minecraft videos, and, you know, I, I don't really... This is probably going to be the only one that I do, because I don't really enjoy it, you know? When I'm on YouTube, I don't enjoy watching Minecraft videos. When I play Minecraft, I'm just like, eh, yeah, sure, I don't know. It's just, whatever. But, I mean, I don't have... I definitely see why it's the kind of game that you don't have to really worry about. There's no pressure or anything. There's no game over chance or anything. There's an effort to just kind of keep the game running, but the rest of it's all yours. If you just want to run around and kill every pig you find, sure, go ahead. It's basically just complete freedom. And it's freedom without any pressure attached to it. And I can definitely understand where there would be a fan base for that. But I would have to follow that up by saying I'm not really part of that fan base. You know, I'm not really that into just wide open sandboxes. I don't really get into roguelike games. And, you know, when I look for a game, I kind of look for there to be a little bit more to it. And with Minecraft, it's very much what you see is what you get. And it's comforting if you're not really looking for that much. If you're just looking for something that will run on your system, that's definitely this. But if you're looking for something a bit more, this isn't really going to provide it. So, that is a very basic rundown of what I don't really like about Minecraft. And, you know, that is my basic reason why there is very little Minecraft on this channel both now and moving forward. So, this is Katesh. Keep enjoying the videos, and subscribe to help the channel and see more. Just in time for the sun to be coming up. <laughs>